All right, uh, I just purchased a product, mostly for video capture, of the original PlayStation 1 and 2. Uh, it is the Hyperkin uh, PS1, PS2 HDMI cable. Um, and that is that, and this is this. And we're just going to unbox it, and I'm going to do a little gameplay. It's just a cable. But it works with the PS2 and uh, the PS1. And I wanted to use it for frame rate capture, you know, frame rate analysis of the PS1 and PS2. Let me see something here. Oh, there it is. Okay. One thing I've seen a lot of people say with this cable is that there is no way to, that it's 16 by 9 and there's no way to set it to 4 by 3. However, there is a switch on here for 16x9 and 4x3. It also comes with a USB cable because you need power. You need to power this. So you could either plug it into a PS2 or your television if it has a USB port. Uh, I already have a USB cable that's not being used plugged into my television. So now I can actually use it instead of just having it hanging there. So now I have another micro USB cable. Woohoo! Oh, it fell behind my bed. <laughs> Lots to go get it, huh? Uh, so, let's get all the uh, stuff off of here. I hope I, uh, I hope I didn't do the same thing I did before, which was uh, somebody pointed out I unboxed something and I didn't actually do it on camera. So I apologize if I didn't do that. I have to actually make a note of that because it's kind of stupid to do an unboxing without actually, un you know, unboxing it on camera. But I thank the person who let me know about it because it's always better to have somebody tell you what you did wrong so that you could try to improve in the next video. And then you get these little things here. So, so the point in me getting this was not simply to just have the greatest quality video for uh, the PlayStation 2 and the PlayStation 1. It was more so that I could be able to capture it with my capture card. And this will allow me to do that because it scales the video to 720p which my capture card supports and hey uh you know emulation for ps2 isn't very good and i play most of my old consoles through emulation but ps2 emulation is um still not quite there uh so this way i can actually play some of my favorite ps2 games as well with a little better quality just not component level but you know i could still get a component cable and use that as well but this will allow me to capture PS1 and PS2 games. Alright. Anyways. Uh, I'll be doing some gameplay. Thank you. 